Hi guys, this is Nikki. Welcome back. I am about to do some slow cooking ribs. Crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. This is my first time doing it this way. I came across this recipe and I just had to try it. Yes, just had to try these ribs. And they turn out so juicy, tender, and delicious. So, do you want to see how I made them? Stick around and watch this video. Hi guys, this is Nikki. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be cooking some ribs in the slow cooker. Yes, I said the slow cooker. Y'all, this is my first time doing this this way, but it's worth the try. Because like I said, sometimes you just don't feel like messing with the grill or, you know, I've done the oven method, grill method. This is something new for me. I got this recipe and I decided to try it out. And using with this soda is especially something new. But the recipe it calls for five pounds of beef or pork ribs, two tablespoons of barbecue seasoning or seasoned salt. I use this masterpiece barbecue seasoning rub that I got from Kroger from the Mega um, sale a couple of weeks back. Yeah, I'm going to try this. So you can either use any barbecue seasoning that you have or seasoning salt. So you would rub your uh, meat down with either or. And one liter of root beer, three cups of water, two tablespoons of liquid, liquid hickory smoke, and one and a half cup of barbecue sauce. Okay, so what you would do, you would remove the membrane from the ribs and cut off any excess fats. And then you will season each side of the ribs with the barbecue seasoning or the seasoned salt. But let me tell you, I did this a little different. But you can just go with the recipe or do it however you want to do it. I had these ribs marinating for 24 hours because I started to cook them one day and then I changed my mind and cooked and fixed something else. So these marinated for 24 hours. So back to the recipe. Like I said, you can... Um, season each side with the seasoned salt or the any kind of barbecue seasoning that you have. And then next, I'm going to take these ribs and I'm going to roll them up, jelly roll style, and put them in the slow cooker. So I'm about to do that now and then I'll be back. Okay, now I have rolled my ribs up and placed them in this crock pot. Now I'm about to pour my root beer in there. Okay, next is my water. Two tablespoons of liquid smoke. And I'm going to put a little twist on it. I'm going to throw in some onions. Yes, I'm going to put a little onions in here. Okay, guys, now that I have all my ingredients in here, I'm going to set my crock pot for four hours on high. And after four hours, I will be back. Now I'm about to carefully remove these ribs from this pan. And you can place it on a, uh, like a line of foil cookie sheet or whatever you have. And uh, put your barbecue sauce on each side. Hey guys, this is the finished look. See the ribs are coming off the bone. But yes, after you take it out the crock pot, you would brush the barbecue sauce on it. And then you would 
put it on the brawler and um, you will brawl it for three minutes twice on each side just turn it over twice on each side sometimes I mean the way mine my ribs turned out I just did it on um, you know a little longer on each side because they are falling off the bone as you can see see there Delicious, delicious, delicious.